Hey everyone! In this video, we'll give an in-depth demonstration and explanation of two functions of the Bezier editing tool, node edit and segment edit. We start with a job in the queue that will be loaded into the variable data wizard. A contour cut will be applied as described in the previously published video, easily replace text with cut lines with the contour cut variable data wizard, available on our YouTube channel. Deselect all objects by clicking on the work area. Using the Select tool, click on the path. The Bezier node edit tool on the left will become active. We're going to discuss the use of the segment edit and the node edit features found in the smart bar above. To learn about the other icons to the left, please view our video on the basics of the Bezier editing tool. Start by selecting the segment edit icon. To designate the length of the path you would like to edit, left click once at the beginning of the length then left click again at the end of the length you want to edit. Once the length is selected, the nodes within this area turn red. Off to the side, right click and hold your mouse button. A small group of icons will appear around the mouse cursor. These icons consist of corner, arc, line, or delete. To use the line function, move your mouse over the line icons while holding down the button. Once over the line icon, release the mouse button. The nodes within the selected length are deleted and a straight line is drawn from the node at the beginning of the length to the node at the end of the length. Each time you complete a segment edit function, the segment edit icon deactivates. To make another segment edit, you need to go to the smart bar and click the segment edit icon again. This time I'm going to turn a chamfered corner into a squared corner. Select the start of the chosen length and then select the node representing the end of the length. Once the length is selected, Right click and hold your mouse and select the corner icon. The result shows a square corner where the chamfered corner used to be. Finally, we're going to change the top right side of the sticker, which contains a chamfered corner and a corner that has extra nodes, into a smooth curve. Again, go back to the smart bar and select the segment edit icon. Choose the beginning and end of the length to be converted and right click the mouse again. This time, choose the arc icon. Now you have a smooth arc where the corners once were. Next, we'll explore the node edit icon. This feature allows you to create your own separate Bezier pass, which will be added to the contour cut. After clicking on the node edit icon in the smart bar, a set node button will appear to the right. Click this button and a node will appear to the bottom left of the design. As you move the cursor on the work area, you will see a line running from the node created at the bottom left to the mouse cursor. Before you make your first click, Right click and hold the mouse button and you'll see icons representing the four styles of nodes as well as the break and join icon. Move your mouse over the line icon and release the mouse button. With the line node style chosen, hold down the control key. This will constrain the movement of the mouse to vertical and horizontal only. Move the mouse to the right past the design and left click the mouse. While still holding the control key, move the mouse vertically just past the design again and then left click the mouse. Finally, with the control key still held, move the mouse horizontally to the left just past the design. Right click and hold the mouse button to bring up the icons again and this time select the join icon. A node will be created and a line will connect this last node to the first node that was created. To finalize this process, click the apply button in the smart bar. You'll now see the original cut line as well as the cut line you just created. Click send to queue and you'll have the cut line, including the rectangle you just added, applied to your design. In another example, if we want to add an inside cut line while we're in the VDW, start with the contour cut line on the design as done before. Select node edit again, but this time, instead of clicking on set node, place the start node anywhere you want. We want to cut out the space between the arm and the body, so I'll click under the hand and proceed to click making a path following the space created by the arm and the body. To close the path, right click where the last node should appear and select the join icon. This will close the path. As you practice, click and drag the mouse to see how this affects the shape of the curve. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, hit the like button, and if you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos covering all of Catling's products.